Hello, survivors, and welcome to a Seven Days to Die video here on God Next Gaming in Alpha 19. We're going to be doing some testing today in this video. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. Um, I may bring a bunch of these types of different videos as we're waiting for Stable to drop. And I do not want to start another series until I have that Stable uh, build because of what happened to us the last time. I don't want to go through that again, although that can happen at any time. I'm particularly usually very careful with that stuff. But I want to do a bunch of testing videos and try the different tools and the different upgrades and the different weapons that they have um, in Seven Days to Die to see how they kind of stand up to each other. And today we're going to be doing the one that I've been warning her about the whole time is the whole new set of wrench tools, right? We used to have just a wrench as of just recently, Alpha 18. Uh, you only had the wrench to break down and salvage vehicles and other uh, objects in the game that were able to kind of be broken down with the wrench radiators and, and vending machines and workbenches and stuff like that. Um, so they added in the ratchet as well as the impact driver. So they have three different tools now that kind of do the same type of job, but one does them better than the rest, right? So we all have level sixes here. Let's take a look at some of the stats on this stuff here. Uh, see if we can pull up stats. So we can see with the wrench at level six, it does 24 melee, 41 power attack, 58 block damage. It costs 18 stamina, and it's 50 attacks per minute, and it has a durability of 640. I don't know how much that really factors into what we're going to do here, but it does have a pretty decent durability uh, at the highest level, right? So let's next go to the Ratchet, and we can see that 24 is still the melee damage. The power attack drops to a 41, but the block damage goes to 72, and the stamina cost for this is 21. So it costs you more stamina, uh, same amount of attacks per minute, and it has a much higher durability at 900. Let's go take a look at the impact driver. So the impact driver here, 24 melee, 41 atta uh, attack, power attack, and 88 block damage. So the block damage goes up higher on this. And 24 co stamina cost, it goes even higher than the ratchet. Now, this one I kind of disagree with. If anything, the stamina should be less on this. I know it's a better tool and whatever else, and it's a, a level 6, and it's supposed to be the best one there. It does a lot more block damage and all of that stuff, but... It's an impact driver. It kind of does the work for you. So why does this cost you stamina in order to kind of wield this, this tool or use this tool? Uh, tax per minute is still 50, and the durability again jumps up to 1,100, which is fantastic. It'll last you quite a long time. So there's definitely more block damage there, so that means it'll break these each of these vehicles down much quicker. But the other piece that I want to kind of test is do you get more like resources from a particular tool so like am i gonna get more components and parts from here or am i gonna get more from here and so on and so forth right so we've kind of laid out some storage chests so we can kind of compare them side by side this one will be the wrench so the blue car will be the wrench and the white car will be the ratchet and the red car will be the impact driver perfect right so we're gonna get started here and we will break it down Starting with the wrench, we'll start with the lowest tool first, the one that you kind of find in the game right away, first and foremost, at, a, at the beginning of the game. This is your low-level, early game, starting game uh, tool. You can find these just about anywhere in the world, usually at level one. But let's go ahead and start it up and see. We're going to bring it all the way down to there is no car left, and we'll kind of talk about it as we go along. So let's get started. Right away, the top layer, you'll be getting... Um, your XP for breaking this down. Also, you'll be getting iron, and it looks like that's about it. Then when you get down to the next level, it breaks down to three different levels. You start getting parts and components here, so gas, springs, and mechanical parts, electrical parts, radiators, batteries, pipes, and the uh, plastic stuff there. So that's broken all the way down. It gives us all of that stuff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this stuff and we're going to dump it into this box so we can kind of compare apples to apples to apples, right? as they say and there we go so that's that one and let's get on here to the white sedan and we're gonna do this so you can see much less hits there to get that down to the next level very well there so good so see what that does for us on that level and we're gonna drop all of these into there beautiful and next 
And last but not least is the impact driver. So four times there to get down to that uh, first level. Three times there. So you can see much, much faster with the impact driver to break down all this stuff here. So now we're going to take a look and see if there's any differences in what kind of loot that you do get. So let's go back over here to the wrench and we'll take a look here. So we were able to get like three short iron pipes, some cloth fragments, springs, uh, 52 iron, 509 on the gas, a level two battery, a radiator, electrical parts, mechanical parts, and scrap polymer. So uh, in total here we have 10 p parts altogether that kind of came out of this car. So, uh, and a battery of that, as well as a radiator, which is pretty cool. And then it, we expect the, uh, the, the gas and the iron springs and iron pipes always seem to come out of these as well on a regular basis as all the other little things too. But I feel like the radiator and the battery are kind of like the, uh, the offshoot there that you, you kind of have to have a little more luck. So let's take a look at the ratchet here. And with the ratchet, we got 49, so a little bit less on the iron. We got some oil in this one. Uh, some cloth fragments, gas again, a little bit more gas, 532, electrical parts, a spring, a five mechanical parts, two short, three short iron pipes, the four scrap polymers, the one radiator, no battery in this batch, and a little bit less iron, it looks like. I think we had more mechanical parts here too, right? We had seven mechanical parts there, so uh, looking like this one didn't yield us as much, but that might be a luck thing, and it could be the way it's kind of written out to drop stuff and kind of drop the loot, if you will. Um, and that's all kind of random, and that kind of just shows that it is really random, so you're not really getting much better uh, with the, the higher tool there. As far as that goes, you're going to have to rely upon your game level, you're going to have to rely upon luck of the draw, and you're going to have to rely upon any types of books or anything out there, or schematics or mods that might kind of help that along the way uh, for that stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at this box. And we got 52 iron, which is the same. We got two short iron pipes. We got two leather in this one, which we didn't get any other ones. Uh, oil, cloth, 533 in the gas, so the same amount of gas. Seven mechanical parts, two springs, seven scrap polymers, and then the one brass radiator. So no battery on this one either. None of these yielded us an engine in this particular run. Uh, only one of them did with, with anything higher than like uh, the normal stuff. This one gave us a battery, but that was about the, the only special thing there. But nothing else here kind of gave us anything special as far as that goes. So it looks like the loot would be just about the same for these, but you can definitely see the speed and how these things will break down cars, right? So the wrench will be the slowest, of course, because it's the lowest level. Uh, the ratchet would be the second there because it is the mid weapon, uh, the mid level tool, and this is the the high level tool. So this would be uh, much faster, of course. So I mean, let's go over here and break down a car. Actually, let's search this car first and see what's inside of it. Why not, right? Yeah, just some gunpowder. So that car was already kind of wrecked. It wasn't coming from the top level. Uh, and it dropped us a bunch of stuff there, but not a whole hell of a lot. Uh, and that's, you're going to get a little bit less iron because you're not coming from the top. But we got a lot less gas. You start don't start getting gas until the second layer anyway, so uh, not too big of a deal there. We have an engine in here as well. These kind of are, are other another salvageable piece. Uh, I do know that if you break these down with a wrench, you do get the engine out of it. Um, you should probably get the same thing out of the wrench, out of the ratchet and the socket, I'm sure. So, yep, you get the engine right there, and it gives you the iron and the scrap polymers as well. So that definitely gives you an engine when you drop. So that's kind of a cool little thing to kind of keep in mind is uh, watch out for that a uh, the engine. Don't just hit it with a with a pickaxe. Go and actually take it out with a with a wrench or a ratchet and we got the instant kill uh, pistol on us just in case we get annoyed by any uh, friends that were trying to do our video so that's kind of what we have there for you today folks uh, not a really long one kind of short and sweet and I just wanted to kind of get to the point with this where we're looking at the wrench the ratchet and the impact driver to see what differences there were other than speed you're not getting much better in the loot department uh, it seems like it's just a random draw and a luck of the draw at that too. A little bit of luck and a little bit of where maybe your game stage is and stuff like that. My game stage is super low. We're on day one. This was just a test, of course. 
But leave your comments below. Tell me what you've experienced when it comes to these different weapons and have you been able to experience all of them. I know that in-game I've actually been able to experience all three weapons, uh, tools. I'm just keep calling them weapons. All three tools. And they have... Uh, this one here has uh, definitely been worth its salt, man. It kind of breaks down buses really quickly and those things take forever to break down. Uh, also, let me know if there's anything else you want to see me test out for you. I'll bring it into a test environment like this one. And I will give it uh, give it a whirl and see what we come up with. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. Please leave a like for the video. Always helps out. And subscribe if you're new to see more types of videos like these. Uh, as well as series and space engineers and other games that we play on the channel as well. Thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.